Yeah, hello. Uh, Dan here, Midwest Technical Sales. Richard behind the camera. You can't see our lovely faces because we're doing some close-up work today. So what we're going to do is to cover um, leader pins. We see this in LTO drives. The leader pin get, gets misplaced and you try to load the tape and it doesn't work and it gets stuck and there's all kinds of issues. So we're going to go through some simple things about leader pin placement and first show you how to check the leader pins to make sure they're in the right place. Looking at this particular uh, unit here, this is the leader pin and this is in the proper place. There's a little holder down here for it and it's sitting in the proper place and it stays in there. Okay, uh, The hub assembly here holds it in place. Um, this particular unit, if you listen, there's something's not right in there, okay? So the leader pin is probably flopping around and when we look, sure enough, the leader pin's not where it should be. Now, you can shake it and you might hear it and you might not. You still don't know if it's in place. So the very simplest way to do it is to have your cartridges like so. Open up the door like here and oh, the leader pin's where it's supposed to be. Good to go. Let's look at another one leader pin on this one here is where it's supposed to be good to go let's look at another one uh oh leader pin sticking out we know right off the bat that's not good um, one of the other ones that we have here the leader pin is not there at all where is it so what happened in a case like this and this can happen to anybody in a data center i dropped this tape on purpose from three foot on a uh, cement floor and I made sure that I dropped it like this so it hit here. So it did a lot of damage. A, it deformed the case and if you tried to put this in here you would wreck some things. Okay, uh, It's a mechanical device, it's not expecting this so it's going to try to power through this and you're going to have issues with that. So in a case like this if you see physical damage the tape's no good, forget it. Um, in a case like this where you have this leader pin sticking up, you can get this back in by taking up the tension on this spool. Now it's going to require three hands and you only have two. So what has to happen in a case like this, this has to be pushed down and these pins need to be pushed down, all three at the same time, then you can move this hub. We use in our lab a hub assembly and you'll see this hub assembly, it's got a magnet on it but it is located in the bottom of this tape drive. So when the media comes in, it goes through the loading process and it's, it gets put down on this hub. Now with this hub on here, I can now I can move the tape. Okay, you can see it. I can have the tape come out a little bit and I can move it back in. So if I was going to replace this, I would take the tension up and then I would grab this pin and put it back in the proper place and then I would retension it and take the tension up on it like so and it's locked in place it can't come out again so that's uh, one way to get the leader pin back in the proper place if you have it sticking out um, like I said we went through the other ones this is so quick I mean look how quickly you can go through these and check your leader pins now it isn't you know, if somebody drops the tape, let's say you have a fellow who's a tape handler or a lady who's a tape handler, they drop the daggone thing. They're not going to come up to a supervisor and say, oh, I screwed up a tape, I dropped it. Okay, they're going to not say anything about it. They're going to put it in the tape and they're going to have a problem with it. Um, if you do it accidentally and say, well, let me just try it and see if it works, forget it. Just don't do it. So don't load a tape like that. So the, what I'd like to do at this point is then also show you what happens. You'll see some fastenings moving around the drive and I'm pointing right now to this particular uh, thing here and I'm going to move the tape down so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to just get to finish with this demo first. But what happens, this arm comes across, the door is open on the, um, on the tape, mechanically it opens. And this pin is going to go in and grab this particular leader, okay? So the leader's sitting there, it's in its position through the mechanical geniuses of mechanics. It comes in, it grabs this, okay? 
It locks it in here, it pulls it back, and it loads it. Okay? We're going to go through this process to show you how that happens. Um, I'm going to angle it down just a little bit so you can see a little bit better on this. One of the other things you're going to see happen is that uh, this is an IBM tape drive, and you'll see this brush come down, and the brush physically cleans the head upon a load. So I'm going to take this particular LTO3, stick it in here, and sort of give you a quick demo on, or the tape drive is going to do it for you, on how it loads the tape. Okay? So it comes out, it's grabbed the tape, it already did clean the head one time, and now it's loading the tape. And it just takes a second for it to load. Um, excuse me, but I have to go around with a little pin here to push the eject button so you can see what happens when it comes out. Button's pushed. It's unwinding. You saw that thing flash across there. That's the beginning of tape sensor. It puts it back in. It closes the door. And there's the tape with the leader pin in the proper position. So that's about all I have to, to show you on that. Um, if there's any help that we can do, uh, we'll gladly help you out. Um, if you have some tapes that you want to send in to have us get the leader pin put in properly, we'll do it for you. We'll make sure that it unloads. Uh, we have these tools. If you want to buy one of these tools, they're not that expensive, but by the time we get it packed and shipped for you, just figure $25 if you want the thing. It's a hub assembly. Um, we can send that out to you, and you can retension your tapes if you want to. Uh, I think later on I might even cover uh, you know, some things if that leader pin breaks on how to put that on. But uh, appreciate your time, and uh, if there's any other videos that we have, I think they'll probably come up pretty soon regarding LTO maintenance and stuff like that. So thank you.